Facts First presents You Should Never Let These Dog Breeds Into Your Home Dogs make great pets. All breeds look different, but they all come from the same common ancestor. It's through genetic variances and selective breeding by humans that we have so many kinds of diversified dogs. There are between 200 and 300 different dog breeds right now, depending on which kennel club you subscribe to. Dogs have been bred to live in the home with humans, but some don't actually do that very well. You should never let certain dog breeds into your home. Before we get into our list, how about you jump down to the comments and let us know if you're a dog fan, what kind of a dog do you have? And is there any kind of funny quirk your dog does? Tell us about it in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Chow Chow The Chow Chow comes from China and it's one of the oldest dog breeds in existence. They have very fluffy, reddish coats and dark-colored tongues. They're also very aggressive. The Chow Chow is very protective of his owners and territory and will show aggression to strangers. It'll take a while for the Chow Chow to welcome guests into your home and they don't do well with other dogs. Siberian Husky Siberian Huskies are often associated with snowy climates, but they didn't originate from Alaska or other areas in the cold. They were actually brought over from Asia, and they ended up doing pretty well in snowy climates. Huskies are great with children, but if they don't get enough exercise, they'll become destructive to your home. Huskies are social animals, and if they're left alone too long, they'll get lonely and act out. If they're housed alone for too long, they'll create and execute an escape plan. French Bulldog French Bulldogs are medium in size and they're characterized by their scrunched-up faces. Due to the many years of breeding, they're prone to several diseases, health conditions, and they overheat easily. If you live in a really warm environment, a French Bulldog is not going to be comfortable in your home. These dogs struggle with separation anxiety when left alone, too, and they need a lot of attention from their owners. Finally, if you travel often, this is probably not the right breed for you. Traveling is stressful if you leave the dog behind. Even if you take the dog with you, it still has breathing problems when traveling sometimes. Many French Bulldogs have actually died on planes due to the side effects of stress. Dalmatian Dalmatians were at the height of their popularity in 1961. In the late 90s, they became popular again for a short time after the release of Disney's 101 Dalmatians, the live-action version. These dogs are characterized by their spotted coats, and they're known to be firehouse dogs. These dogs tend to have hearing problems, though, and that makes it challenging to train them. Most owners aren't aware of this common hearing loss, which leads them to believe their dog is just being difficult. Dalmatians love to run and play outdoors, and they don't do well in small houses or apartments. Shih Tzu The Shih Tzu comes from China, and it's very popular. They love being outdoors, but that doesn't mean that they are the best breed to adopt. They are kind of tough to housebreak, and it means that your floors could be destroyed during the training process. Shih Tzus are also prone to many health conditions. Because of their short snouts, they are known to make a raspy sound when they breathe. They are also at high risk for diseases of the eyes and skin infections. These medical issues can make them expensive to own. Australian Shepherds This breed was misnamed because they were not bred in Australia, they were bred in the U.S. These dogs love the outdoors and they need a lot of exercise and attention. The breed needs to keep busy and it gets restless if they are left at home for long periods of time. These dogs require more exercise than most breeds. If they don't get at least 30 to 60 minutes of exercise each day, they can become destructive. If you're not an active person, don't adopt an Australian Shepherd. Jack Russell Terrier Jack Russell Terriers are known to be good dogs, however, there are problems that you should be aware of. They are a high-energy breed, and it means that they need plenty of exercise. Jack Russell Terriers they don't do well with small animals and children if they are not trained properly. They also won't deal with abuse, even if the abuse was not intended. Greyhound The Greyhound hails from Europe, and they have very long bodies. 
They have a long history of training to race, and they tend to be pretty good dogs. When you take a greyhound for a walk, it can be a bit difficult, though. If you're going to put a greyhound out in your yard, make sure that the fence is at least six feet tall. They also need to run a lot and get plenty of exercise. If they don't, they can become destructive to your home. Pekingese The Pekingese originated in China, and they're a popular toy breed. They're excellent house dogs, but they're prone to emotional and physical trauma. These dogs have trouble with stairs and can easily fall down and get injured. They're also prone to health problems and breathing problems. Because of these health issues, they don't like to roughhouse with children, so that makes them a poor choice if you're planning on having a big family. Pitbull Pitbulls have unjustly earned a bad reputation. Some people believe they are dangerous animals. Others think, though, that that is a misconception. They're very powerful dogs, though, and they're capable of inflicting significant injuries if they want to. They're also high-energy dogs. Many communities don't allow pit bulls, and don't try traveling with one because many airlines won't allow them on planes either. If your dog were to attack another person, you'd be held liable. Sadly, the pit bull really is a loving dog, it just has a bad reputation due to the training that is received from certain individuals. Sharpe This dog originates in China and it's one of the oldest breeds. They have a shared history with the Chow Chow because they were crossbred with them. The Sharpe was bred to be a guard dog and they still maintain their guard dog tendencies. If this dog is not exposed to humans very early on, they won't be friendly towards people. If they haven't been trained to accept outsiders, they can become aggressive, and that makes it challenging to have them as a pet. If you're going to adopt a Sharpe, you need to adopt a puppy. That'll get them accustomed to your family and lifestyle very early on. German Shepherd The German Shepherd dates back to 1899, which actually is not all that long when it comes to dogs. They were bred for herding sheep, and they're one of the smartest breeds out there, and that's why they often work with police, the military, and they'll often even get acting jobs. German Shepherds are extremely active and they need plenty of exercise. They're great family dogs, but they have to be trained appropriately, and if they're not, they could bite. The Senji This dog comes from Africa, and it doesn't bark. Instead, it makes kind of a yodeling sound. They were bred to hunt, and they still have that instinct. For this reason, they're not good dogs if you have small children or other small animals. The Pisenji is one of the most challenging breeds to train, too. They tend to bond with only one person. It makes them a poor choice for families. If you're single, though, they might make a great companion, so long as you don't plan on doing any dating. Doberman Pinscher Doberman Pinschers are very intelligent dogs, and they can be trained quickly. Like the pit bull, they have a reputation for being dangerous. They can be trained to be guard dogs and their posture makes them appear dangerous. They tend to be stubborn, but they're very loyal to their owners. If trained properly, they can be very obedient, but only when their primary owner is around, and that can make things dangerous for guests when the owner's not present. They have plenty of energy and need to be exercised often. They don't do well with small children because they can accidentally knock them down. They're a strong dog. Caucasian Ocharka. This breed is not as well known as most, and they're often called a Caucasian Shepherd dog. They were bred in Georgia, and they're low energy dogs. They usually get riled up when they see unfamiliar faces, and they are very unfriendly toward other dogs, regardless of the breed. If you often have guests over, it might not be the breed for you because you have to keep them separated from other people. Also, they're prone to health conditions, particularly obesity. Because of this, they need plenty of exercise. Dachshund The Dachshund is also known as the wiener dog or the hot dog dog. They were originally bred as hunting dogs and they tend to be aggressive. Due to their small size, their aggression doesn't make them too dangerous. Unless properly trained, though, these dogs they can't be around small children. They also don't do well with strangers and they tend to stick to the people they're already familiar with. Tosa these dogs were bred to fight in Japan legally. Because they've been bred for fighting, they have a reputation for being dangerous. Several countries have banned these dogs, including Denmark, Australia, Germany, and the United Kingdom. These dogs are horrible house pets because of their tendency to be aggressive. 
They are enormous and powerful, and they don't take well to living indoors. The Afghan Hound This dog was bred in the cold climate of the Afghanistan mountains, and it's one of the oldest breeds in existence. Their long hair makes the breed very unique. They need plenty of exercise to be sure that they behave properly and to be healthy. In generally, they are excellent family dogs but require a great deal of care and grooming, and they don't do well with children unless they're used to them. Sky Terrier The Sky Terrier is a feisty and loud breed. They need plenty of exercise, and they love to dig, even when they're inside. They're native to the United Kingdom, and they're endangered there, in fact. They need frequent combing and grooming because their long hair can easily get tangled. Sky Terriers won't do well with small pets because they could attack. If not properly trained, they can also be aggressive towards strangers. If you train your dog properly from a young age, it can be a good family dog. Weimar Honor Weimar Honors are hunting dogs, and they tend to chase other animals. They have plenty of energy, and they need to be exercised often and fed properly. They tend to suffer from separation anxiety and become overly attached to their owners. If you leave your dog home alone for too long, they can become destructive and injure themselves in the process. They're also known to bark loudly and howl when their owners are gone. They need to be appropriately trained to keep that from happening. The Great Pyrenees This dog was bred centuries ago in Europe to be used as a shepherd dog. They love the outdoors and the snow, but they also do fairly well inside. They do great with children and small animals because they're very protective. These dogs need to be brushed several times a week. If they're not, they can develop serious ear infections. They also need to have their teeth brushed regularly because they can develop infections in their mouths. Depending on the dog, they'll either drool a lot or not at all. And finally, they overheat easily, and that results in them sleeping for several hours. Rottweiler. This is one of the most territorial breeds. They're very strong, and without proper training, they can be extremely dangerous. If they are trained and socialized from a young age, though, they can be good with families. Due to their strength and their loyalty to their owners, they are excellent guard dogs. They're very dominant, and if they're not trained properly, they'll try to take over your house and try to assert themselves as your master. St. Bernard. This dog is massive, and it's friendly towards children and adults. Because of its enormous size, though, they don't do well if they are cooped up indoors. They can knock breakable items and even small children over accidentally. If properly trained, they are not aggressive, but they do need plenty of space. Great Dane This dog is huge, and despite its size, it's actually pretty gentle. The Great Dane is one of the largest breeds of dog, and they hold the record for the largest dog ever recorded. They are great family dogs, but if you have a small house, they can easily break things accidentally. They need to be exercised, but they won't want to exercise. If you're living on a tight budget, that might not be the best dog for you because they do eat a lot, too. Subscribe for more!